Hello, good evening, and welcome to Belgrade, Serbia's the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup Qualifying Tournament A, and it's the battle between Brazil and Korea. So the FIBA Women's Basketball Tournament in Brazil is, excuse me, the FIBA Women's Basketball uh, Qualifying Tournament here, the battle between Brazil and Korea, all ready to go. Uh, Korea, they win this game by four points. They qualify for the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup. So there are the standings. Australia and Serbia right up at the top. Uh, after their opening wins, Korea and Brazil down at 0 and 1. And uh, you see today's matchups, uh, very tasty affair later after this one. But our focus uh, right now on Korea and Brazil as both these teams try to make it to Australia. So as we look at the scenes here, the hardwood in the Ronco Zarevica Sports Hall. I'm Jeff Taylor, joined by Shona Thorburn and uh, Shona. Uh, this is what it's all about. You've been in this position as a former national team player yourself. What is going through the minds of both of these teams? Hey Jeff, I mean right now it's all about trying to get that win, especially if you're Korea. Like we know, they know, they need to win by four. Number 10, to be able to qualify. Number 13, and if you're Brazil, Lee, no matter what, number 19, you got to give your Park. chance to either number qualify Captain tomorrow. Darby Kim. So you're going to go number out and you're going to try and at least Anjin. lose by less than four. Or, best case scenario, Sami you want to go out and win. You know every game at these short tournaments counts. So it's about playing well today, playing well now, and trying to get that win. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here is the team roster of Brazil. So Brazil really beaten soundly uh, the other day by Australia. Really, maybe uh, could have been even worse for them in that game. Uh, the hope will be that they got some type of confidence, some type of rhythm. Mariano really, I thought this thing with herself as, as a player that Number can help 12, them. Alini Muda. Number 14, yeah, Captain absolutely, Erica Jeff. I mean, Souza. I think they had some positives. Number 18, Deborah Costa. But Number I also think they have Alana to play better Gonzalo. if they expect to win Number and be at this level Stephanie Suarez. and try and qualify for a World Tyra Cup. I mean, Brazil was Head a team we were used to Jose seeing at every Neto. major tournament, the Olympics, the World Cups. And they've been missing out recently. And I'm sure that they want to get back. But how do you do that? You have to play better. You have to improve every Ladies game, especially in a short tournament. And you have to try and get the most out of your players. Korea. Dame OK, we're going to have the national anthem for both Korea and Brazil. for the national anthem of Brazil. Dame i gospodo, pozdravite sada i himnu Brazila.
So plenty of excitement here ahead of uh, this pivotal game for these two teams. Korea and Brazil faced off against each other over the years. And of course, both of these teams have had a lot of highs. Uh, and I think they're both really dangerous teams uh, if they if they play their best. Johnny Batista Palermo from Puerto Rico, also Yalman from Turkey, and Miguel Maliste from Estonia. Also on the left there from Turkey. Miguel, our Estonian friend on the right. Johnny in the middle. And we are now going to have a look at the starting fives for both of these teams. I think as Korea get in their, their running here and we remember how close they were to, to kind of, uh, well, I could, you could say they kind of spoiled the party on opening night. I, you know, there weren't a lot of celebrations for Serbia after that win, certainly not in the crowd, uh, because they would have expected Serbia to, to really uh, get on top of this Korean team. Korea could have won that game. And there's no doubt about it. Um, Kang Lee Sol didn't have a great shooting night. Park Hae Jin, uh, Bae Hae Yoon, Park Jisoo, and Kim Dami. Of course, Park did a lot of good things well, but one thing she couldn't do was establish herself offensively with her scoring down low. She had some shots blocked, and that also impacted her as she stepped outside. She didn't look like the same player. You got Park Hae Yoon Lee, Choi Lee, and Jin coming off. Uh, the bench. Coach Young there is, she she knows, she knows very well they could have won that game. Yeah, Jeff, I agree with you. I think they missed an opportunity on that opening night to Serbia. They ended up losing by just two points with a big block actually from uh, Sasha Chajo of Brazil, Serbia, sorry. So Brazil, Isabella, Taina, Erica, Deborah and Stephanie Sores, Steph Stephanie rather, into the starting five tonight. And how about Mariano uh, de Carvalho, number four? I, she, to me, needs to play a lot of minutes for this team. Mon um, and Rafa Montero, uh, Patty, Teixeira, uh, all the way down. Erica D'Souza obviously gets a lot of attention for having been in this team for so long. And there's uh, Jose Neto, I think, and a little bit of prayer before the game. You won't meet a nicer man, but that doesn't count for anything when it comes to winning games. And he's going to have to, he's going to have to really uh, five, gird Korea. himself for a serious uh, battle uh, against Korea. Korea. Number three, Kang. Number seven, he yeah, you part. know, Number ten, sometimes the Number nice people 19, don't finish first, part. right, Number Jeff? Three, but I agree. I mean, uh, Brazil, I, and now starting five I like that they've Brazil. changed up the starting five, five a little bit. Brazil. Why not go Number ahead, three, give an Ramona. opportunity eight, to, to Stephanie. 14, Number, Number 24, 18, you know, she has Number that university experience. Slide. She's still young, only 21 years of age. Imagine 21 years of age and you're playing alongside Erica de Souza. I mean, she must have watched her growing up. Mm, that's right. And being yeah. a fan of Brazilian basketball, Erica de Souza, the never, she never retiring Brazilian player. Ste Stephanie comes from a basketball family. Obviously, she plays at the Masters. Her brother plays there. Her father played there. She had an older brother and an older sister that played at the Masters in California. That's where she is. Uh, but right now, she's representing her country here. And both she and Camilla, as we talked about, really represent the future of Brazilian basketball, but also uh, the likes of Mariana, who I'm, uh, again, she wears number four. She'll be coming off the bench. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to Belgrade. This is the FIBA Women's, Bas FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup qualifier. Uh, between Brazil and Korea. Both these teams come in at 0-1. Korea can punch their ticket for the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup in Australia if they win by four points or more. And Park Ji Soo sees her uh, jump shot go out. And interesting, as Park had a chance to go right back up with it, decided not to. And now here comes Taina. Or rather, Kim Danby had a chance to put it up. Isabella from the corner. Well, 
How long did it take them the other day against Australia to score? Yeah, exactly. Just what I was going to say. That's kind of what you want to see from Isabella, getting hot early. You know, had a had a slow game the other night. Already three points, first three points of the game. I like this. I like I like seeing a different kind of attitude. Brazil knows they have to win. Kang Le Sol misses with her first attempt. And batting the basketball out of bounds was Park Heijin, number seven. Sometimes, I mean, you know, if your team is struggling a little bit, what type of impact does it have on you if you do see that basketball go through the hoop early? It's a relief. And it's going to give yourself more confidence as this game goes on, you know? I mean, Isabella, number three, she's already hit one shot. Why not go ahead? Next time she's open, she's not going to hesitate. It's when you miss your first few shots, the team starts to hesitate and worry about what they're doing. Stephanie feeds Erica, the Brazil legend, and she banks it in. A lot of debate, not debate, but conversation. Is she one of the all-time greats of Brazil? And good for her to get a good start. Here's Stephanie the rebound. Now Deborah, who had a tough game against Australia. And uh, basketball goes out of bounds off Brazil. I mean, Brazil, Australia played some really good defense. They were jumping into the passing lanes. Yeah. Long arms extended. I thought the defense of Australia really frustrated Brazil. And Korea has the potential to play defense like that as well. They're, you know, they're quick. They move their feet quick. They have quick hands. I thought that was the right decision to try to go back inside to Souza, But again, you have, to, you have to get the ball to her in a scoring position. There's Park. And boy, those Korean shooters get a lot of arc on their three-point shots. And Park goes right down the lane and misses. She had the mismatch being guarded by Stephanie outside. Taina Pecho and down to Erica again and puts it up and in. And also good news for Erica because she also was a little bit slow starting the other night. Yeah, Jeff, great start. I'm sure you know Erica. She's played in so many games, so many big, important games for Brazil. So she knows what it takes. She was slow the other night against Australia. Four points, only two of six shooting. So this is so far, in my opinion, you see a different player. I think she's ready, she's prepared, and she knows she has to be a leader of this team tonight. Well, finally, Kim Danby gets the, the first points for Korea. I think what worries me about Brazil, if I'm Jose Neto, is that Korea are getting uh, some drives right to the basket. They're getting open looks, Jeff. They just haven't been able to convert so far, and they're also getting offensive rebounds. And that was a good defensive stand by Korea, and here they are again, and this time it's Kang. Player that would definitely Kang Le Sul get on track. Deborah to Erica. And the foul, Kim Danby. And uh, Brazil looking really determined to get the basketball inside. As you look right here, they get it to, at the high post to Erica, who then feeds it down low. Would you call this a twin tower type setup with the Brazil having Stephanie and Erica out there? Absolutely, and I think it's kind of Coach Neto's uh, idea. You know, we have a height advantage. Let's go ahead and try and use it early in this game and profit. And I think that's why we see the two bigs in for Brazil. Kim Danby gets it out, and Kang Lee so good. Now that's more like it for Kang. The Kang do spirit. So she ties it up. They have scored seven unanswered points. Korea to come battling back. Getting a look at Taina Silva over there on the bench. She was the, the player that made way from the starting five. Coach Jung looking out, surveying the situation. I would think they can only be comp even more confident even though they lost to Serbia the other night because Korea really did have some good basketball. Yeah, it was a great game. Isabella, oh boy, that was a good pass. And Isabella needs to go up and make that shot for Brazil. They can't spurn 
those opportunities and good reach in by Deborah almost forcing the turnover. And right now you see the frustration coming out of Park, uh, Park Jisoo, number 19. And they're just being physical with her and she's not able to handle the physicality. And I think that's what you need to do to try and keep her Keep her quiet because she has the potential to have a big double double for for Korea on any night. Well, Brazil in a zone, and if you're in a zone, they're probably going to give away some jumpers, and they do. And Park misses, and Erica rebounds the miss. Isabella Romana, Romana rather, ball hit out of bounds. It'll stay at this end. So Roman from. Ramona, Isabella Ramona, hit the early three. And would desperately like to get another one. Here's Deborah. And she strikes from downtown. I'll tell you what, Shona, there have been a lot of talking points about the teams, how they perform in these women's World Cup qualifying tournaments. Park Jisoo drives in, turns it over. There have been some great games. There have been some uh, teams that look almost reborn as well under new leadership. And certainly the teams from Africa have raised eyebrows. Mali and Nigeria here in Belgrade. Paying up Pecho, and she left her feet not knowing what she was going to do with it. And Deborah re reaches in and bumps and commits the foul. When you consider how, again, you see was she playing uh, the basketball there, I wonder? I mean, that that almost qualifies for a you-know-what. <laughs> she came in from the side of foul. No, no I, I think she was playing the ball. Okay. I, I what is, what is, think her intention was to stop the clock and foul, but I do believe that she made a play on the ball. Okay, so before we... She made we, an effort to try and get in front. Before uh, you can uh, talk about your biggest surprise of this, uh, the Women's World Cup Qualifier Tournament, let's introduce Camilla who's just coming into the game. Number 10 for Erica. So look at the hustle from Isabella. And that's what these teams have got to do that are scratching and clawing, going for their first wins. They got to be getting after the basketball. So look at this. I mean, you take Erica De Souza out and you bring in Camilla. And Bay with the foul. So what is your biggest surprise of the Women's World Cup qualifiers? I mean, I think it has to be the performances so far from what we've been watching of Mali and Nigeria. Yeah, me too. And, and you know, Mali don't have a win, but it's not because they aren't deserving of it. I think they've had, you know, they did end up losing by quite a bit against Australia, but they've been exciting. And Apecho misses. Yeah, they've been. Sorry, not Australia. They ended up losing. Um, you talking about Mali? Yeah, Mali. Yeah. And uh, I think the, the game that has kind of captivated everyone, other than the overtime classic between Japan, uh, when they came from behind to beat Canada by, from 20, was Nigeria coming from yeah. 20 down last night to beat France. I mean, people are still buzzing about that here in Belgrade. I mean, you and I had a hard time. We couldn't stop thinking about it last after night. That game, yeah. Oh boy, Jean sneaks in there and scores an easy one. Jean on, and now uh, Pecho off target. So Brazil with a one point lead. And Deborah bumps her. Kim Damby. So Stephanie uh, comes out after six and a half minutes, as well as Deborah, and we see Patty come into the game. Or no, is it Alana? Excuse me, it's Alana that comes into the game, and also Tina Silva, number 26. And the jump shot, and Camilla goes up. She plays for Dawn Staley, the former USA coach at the University of South Carolina. The Lady Gamecocks. 
again, as soon as you take a park out for Korea, Korea become very small. A good oh, job boy. here. Great drive, Isabella, and great catch. Yeah, that's exactly what Brazil needs to do. They need to take advantage of their height. Jose Neto doing a good job preparing for this game. There's no need for Camilla to commit that foul. Jean, Jean's got to prove she can hit that shot. I saw her say, my bad, my bad. She knew right away it wasn't a good foul to commit. I mean, that, for Jin, that's going to be a tough shoot, a tough shot to shoot over Camilla. So with Erica out of the game, it'll be interesting to see how Park Jisoo performs against Camilla. Uh, that's going to be an interesting one-on-one -on -one battle. And makes the first and the second. So back to a one point lead for Brazil. Isabella Romana to Camilla. And she makes the pass, perhaps ill advisedly. I think she needs to go up with that ball. She had Park. Oh, look at and this. And look at Park. G. Sir on the floor. And Korea have taken the lead for the first time. I think you're right. She, you need to go up. You have Park on your back, even if it's a tough shot. Maybe you draw a foul. If you're Brazil, you need to you need to try and get Park out of the game. Park Jisoo, number 19 for Korea. Here she goes, and exactly as you say, she goes up and is fouled. Here she is, folks. Excitement checks into the game. Number four, Mariano. And it's going to be a tough act to follow what she did the other day against Australia. I don't know. Maybe that was a flash in the pan. Yes. Maybe she was tough. But you know what? She came in. I liked it because she came in and she didn't back down. And you just saw, you know, one of the younger players on Brazil, she she had 13 points. She was great for them. She literally, we, we saw her shoot some threes. We saw her attack the basket hard. So Camilla misses both free throws. Clarissa Dos Santos is here watching there. Oh, what a block by Camilla. SWAT, get out of here. This isn't my house, but I'm going to make it my house. Look at this. That ball went up into row H. Well, actually, it hit that black curtain over there in the Ranko Jerovica Sports Hall. That will not put Korea off. They will keep putting it up. Here's the youngster, Park, and she continues to deliver. Park Jae-hong. I think it's tough to play a zone against Korea because they do have good shooters on the outside. Debra for three. And then coming over the back, Tina Silva. Good box out by Jean. Had Tina Silva on her back. So. Park, back to Park. Got three Parks, in fact, on the court right now, along with Jin, who has the ball. And good D from Tina Silva. And then getting after it was Park, but now Brazil pick it up. It's a three on two break. They get it to, here she is. Mariana has her first attempt, but it was blocked. Good job, Kim Danby. Park to Park, and Park misses, Park Jisoo, now up ahead, leaking out early, tying to Peixo, and fouled by Jean. Oh, good job there, get the ball up. Nice defense on the other end. Yep. Good hustle back on defense, make her earn it at the free throw line. And timeout has been called, I think, by Jose Neto. Good. 
있는 공간들이 많아. 무슨 말인지 알겠지? 서두르지 말고 지수야, 좀더 박자 싸움에 밀려. 찬스 하면 그냥 한 번에 결정을 해야 되는데 주춤 주춤 하니까 안 되지. 진양이, 너도 마찬가지야. 주춤거리지 마. 안 되면 빨리 주고 스크린을 가든지 히데를 하라고 외곽에서 드라이빙 할수 있게 공간을 만들어주라고. 네. 그리고 지금 후리드로 한진 어, 보면 농가면서 패턴을 불러. 롤링투로 해봐. 롤링투. 롤링투로 하라고. 그 다음에 공가면서 너무 하고 스트레스 보고 수비 둘한 번만 해. 공격 끝나지 들어가면 바로 둘이야. 메이드를 하라고. 메이드. 파울이야 너 아, 얻어내고 투샷 넣고. 만약에 메이드 안 되면 맥주맨이야. 메이드 안 되면 맥주맨. 그래서 in fact it was a Korean timeout. It kind of like do you kind of get the feeling like Korea have weathered the early storm and now maybe uh, they're going to start putting some distance between themselves and Brazil? Or is it too early I mean, to make that far, projection? Yeah, I think, it's, I think it's too early. And the way this tournament is going, we think that teams are going to distance themselves. And we haven't seen it happen, really, <laughs> you know, in all our games. You've seen comeback after comeback, close game after close game. So. I think, you know, that, that would be hard to say. I do think that you need to get Park Ji Soo, number 19. It's not that she's not there's involved. A, there's Clarissa Dos Santos, oh, yeah? who you know because she plays for Lons in France, the team that you're, where you're an assistant coach. Here, out supporting her friends, teammates. And she would have liked to have been in this Brazil squad, but she's injured, and that's why wow. she's not. But she was watching the team from Portugal the other day and decided to fly here. How about that? <laughs> she said there's no way she could miss oh, it. But another chance. Look at this. Uh, quick pass up, and Tanya Pecho decides to not rush it. Here's Lana. And Camilla. Oh, boy, that's big. Big time offensive rebound and put back. Good job there by Camilla. So yeah, Clarissa said she was watching the game. There was no way she couldn't come. By the end of the game on Thursday, she had already booked her ticket to come to Belgrade. And that is such a bad foul by Lana. You're over the limit. You don't want to give him a... seconds left. And she clearly got her as well on the right arm and then the left arm. It's those little things. Yeah, there you see the offensive rebound and put back. It's another thing you need to think about. You know, talk about getting the ball inside on your set plays. But you also go up, you have to go offensive rebound when you have an opportunity, especially your bigs. I know you want to get back because this Korean team are fast and they can shoot threes. So send your three guards back and then maybe send your two taller players to go offensive rebound. Well, they've got several seconds to get it up. So here's Alana. And she was fouled. Now, Jean as well needs to understand the situation. So both teams make the same mistake. Look at that. She's got to know her team is over the limit. So Lana, who committed the foul at the other end, now has a chance to make amends by getting those two free throws to drop. You know, more concerning for me and Jin, that's her second personal foul. It's, it's, it's a bad foul, plain and simple. It's a bad foul, 1.6 seconds, your team's in bonus, and the other team's in bonus after the first quarter. But it's also, you have to be smart. This is your second personal foul. So that's the first free throw that Brazil have made today. They had missed their first four, and Park Asian is not even going to try. So what a great first quarter between these two teams, desperate teams. Uh, Korea know that if they win this by four points or more, they will qualify for the World Cup. They lead it 17 to 16 over Brazil. So statistics, Brazil shooting the ball really well from inside. No surprise, they've done a good job getting the ball inside. Neither team particularly shooting the ball a lot from uh, three, well from three-point range. Korea, they had a lot of misses early, and then they started to attack the basket a little bit better. 
Well, this was the first shot that was made, and it was early from Isabella, and that uh, propelled Brazil to an early 7-0 lead. Erica followed up as well. And Korea uh, finally got it going here. And Kong hit a shot down from the baseline. And the three from Kong as well. They sold. She did not have a good shooting night the other night. Uh, but Brazil have been able to make some threes. Korea trailed by as many as seven, but they came back to take the lead, and uh, they're up by one right now. Still waiting for Park Jisoo to really establish herself as the force. It's kind of like... That's my biggest concern. You remember when she played at the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup? That was a great block by Camilla back in 2014 and made it as a young teenager. Okay, folks, uh, scan in this QR code, and you can look at all the latest stats uh, and more news information it'll take you to the website and that's where you get all of your your fix for the FIBA women's basketball world cup qualifiers but yeah you remember uh park kind of really uh, burst onto the scene in 2015 in turkey i mean after that she went to the wmba she had other opportunities this summer she averaged a double double and korea d I, I mean i know they didn't win a game at the olympics but they were close against Spain. They were close against Serbia. They had a rough night against Canada. And, and this woman, Park, was averaging 13 points, 10 rebounds a game. So she is very capable. Well, here she is. She's got the ball. Passes it back outside. Here she is. And the hand in the face. Oh, good defense by Camilla. At least making it harder. Yoon has come into the game. And here's Camilla. And Brazil go back in front. Good job, Tina Silva, finding the low post threat. Park gets blocked by Camilla. Well, her reputation is a great defensive player, and she's showing us that right now. Park again, a long two, short. And boy, they're take, having a hard time keeping uh, some of those Koreans off the boards, but Brazil come back with it. And Alana, the ball, Korea reached in. They thought the ball went off of Alana and went out of bounds. Yeah, Korea not shooting the ball particularly well, but they are doing a good job offensive rebounding. They have eight offensive rebounds. They're just not converting. That has to be a scary statistic for Brazil. You can't let a good shooting team continually to get second chances, third chances, giving up offensive rebounds. They get it to Camilla again. She's got to go up and score that one and at bare minimum get a foul. And that's the second time now that Park Jisoo has fouled her. Yeah, so a good job there by Camilla attacking Park. And you know, uh, that kind of situation, you always tell your bigs, don't lower your hand. Jump straight up and make it a tough shot. Maybe they make it and you congratulate them, but more than likely, it's gonna be harder for them to make a really tough shot. Well, Camilla, I mean, none of the Brazilians were able to really the, 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 the bigs to, to do well the other day because Mariana Tolo was so good for Australia. I mean, she was, she was owning the paint, and that defense overall was good, but today she's come out and really made an impact. She only makes one of two from the line. Yoon, open from the right, and that's good. Korea. They won't stop, that's for sure. Isabella Ramona dribbles left and gets swatted by Park. And good job by Brazil's Ramona to save it. And that mitt 
another opportunity for Lana. Uh, her three-pointer is out. Bounces out of bounds. Cree actually on top 20 to 19 after that last basket. I know Isabella wants to be aggressive, but maybe not taking on uh, Park. Park. She is just struggling with the contact and physicality of Brazil. So that has to have been a point, you know, Coach uh, Jose Neto said, go ahead, be physical with her. If she's going to score, we're not going to make it easy for her. But a good job there staying with it. And now she's going to the three for free throw line. Still waiting on Nanny, number four, to make her imprint for Brazil. Yeah, again, since probably coming in. the best player in their last game. Oh, here's More Park Jisoo. She definitely banks him in, doesn't she? She does. That's her go-to. But, you know, as a coach, do you think that's good? I I mean, it's it's rare. You certainly you see most people not, not try to bank it in. I think it's rare. I mean, she was four for six the other night. If that's what you're used to, then why, ha Ooh. why not go with it? Oh, boy, she picked up her dribble. Nanny, now Isabella, same spot. Different result from that first one, but Camilla, another rebound. Oh, boy, strong take, but then a block by Park. Yoon already hit one three, gets it to Bay. Bay shows the way, banks it in. So now Korea in a 2-3 zone. I wonder, wondering if they're doing that to protect uh, Park Jisoo with the two fouls, but also your taller player. They're moving the ball well now. Here's a open three, Alana. And Marianne, or rather Nanny, <laughs> gets it. And Camilla gets it. And Tyna keeps it alive, but Park rebounds it. She's upset. She thought she was hit. Three for Yoon. Another offensive rebound, Jeff. Park quickly over to Park Jisoo. And again, she misses Alana. Park is just struggling tonight offensively. She has not found her touch. They'd like to get a third foul on her if they could, uh, but she seems to be uh, playing okay with those two fouls. And China launches the three, and Jose Neto calling a timeout. Their execution looks better tonight on offense, but still clearly not all the way where it needs to be. And traveling on Park Jisoo. So Jose Neto does indeed get a timeout. Yeah, I think this is a good timeout. Both teams look to be a little winded at the moment. And you saw Erica de Souza is going to be checking in for Brazil. So I'm sure that's why they also called the timeout. Why are you defending? And why are we not going to be in the Falou que aconteceu isso. Então, trouxe essa bola pra cá, já dá a sobrecarga. Deixa aqui, passa uma se já tiver, já passa a outra pra esse lado. Vamos fazer essa sobrecarga. Quatro aqui, desliza, passa. Já criou aqui. A Nani tava sozinha aqui pra esse, pra esse chute ali. Tá bem? Essa bola, se sair, tem que passar dentro, senão tem chute. Rebote, rebote, tá bem? É. Qualquer problema que tiver da zona, qualquer problema, traz aqui para a lateral, joga um pick and roll aqui. Ah, se elas derem fundo, passa e, e penetramos. Oh. É. Na defesa lá. So, Jeff, no team really shooting the ball well. We saw the statistics come up. I do think what's worrying, you know, if you're a Brazil fan right now, is that you have given up nine offensive rebounds to Korea, a smaller high-wise, a smaller team than you, and and they haven't really profited from it. They only have four second chance points, but you continue to do that, they're gonna start hitting shots. They're getting more shot, more shot attempts than Brazil are. And then, you know, I think the best offense so far for Brazil is when they 
been able to get the ball inside and not settling for outside shots. Other than Isabella's first three of the game, haven't, you know, their outside shooting has not looked good. Okay, well, they're going right at Park Jisoo again and backing it in. Erica, right off the bench. Great job there by Coach Neto. And Park had her pass batted. Park passes to the corner, Yoon, and gets it right back and gets blocked by Isabella. Shot clock winding down. They got to chuck it up. It almost goes in. That was a desperate play by Bay. Now, Tina Silva. Again, they get it to Erica. Ooh, thought she might go right at Park. They're passing it well. Tina Silva. Go! The three in the flow of the offense. And I, I like that three-point shot. I said, you know, they shouldn't be shooting threes. But they got the ball inside. Every player touched the ball. They made an extra pass, and you had a wide open three point shot. Oh boy. That was close. She got a lot of ball there. But got some hand as well, and that was Silva's three pointer. And great defense from Isabella. And it goes up, and good job. Making sure she got the contact. Good hustle by Yoon, but she definitely bumped her. Watch this. Great defense on that. I think it was really R Isabella that kind of sure made contact. sure the contact was going to be made. She's playing very direct tonight, Isabella. She's had some shots blocked, but she's playing with some aggression that they need. Yeah. I also, I mean, I have a feeling watching this game from both teams, they know what's on the line. You, yeah. you see a different intensity from at least Brazil for sure uh, compared to that first game against Australia. There she is, Magic Paula. Magic Paula, the legend. She played in the 94 team. She looks a little stressed over there. With Hortensia. And Adriana as well, who's here. Magic Paola, the vice president of the Brazilian Confederation, and it's, uh, there's no, I mean, really, you talk about Hortensia and Magic Paola, maybe the two biggest legends of South American basketball. We're almost honored to be in her presence. Uh, foul called on Brazil. So don't forget, Brazil won the World Cup in 94 when it was in Australia, so. They'd love to make it back. So would Korea. And traveling. And Coach Jung is uh, not impressed by that call. Perhaps maybe more frustrated. Yeah, yeah, she shuffled her feet. Did she shuffle both of them? Yeah, she did. It looked like it. it looked like after she called it. I'd like to see it in slow-mo. Good job here. You gotta get Ooh, the ball inside. Mars gotta be yeah. careful. She's got two fouls. Isabella continuing to put pressure, and I think Jose Neto is like, don't be afraid to call that third foul, Park. I've seen Park play with foul trouble, so I don't think that's that would be an issue with her getting a third early. But Tina Silva. So now Korea go back to tie it and take the lead. What will it be? And now Patty. Fouls a long way from the basket. Yeah, and that's the fourth team foul for Brazil. They have definitely picked up their intensity on defense, but you still have to play smart. The problem with that is Korea are very shortly going to be shooting free throws. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they might get. It'll be interesting to see how many free throws they do get for the rest of the half on those non-shooting fouls. And offensive foul called. Is it going to be on Park? If it is, that's number three. Yep. I imagine she's going to have to go out. 
Well, she kind of made the motion to the coach that. So Jisoo, Park Jisoo rather. Just double check, but I'm pretty sure she's got three. She definitely does have three. And boy, that ball went in and out. You gotta say, I, I mean, this is a little risky, isn't it? Uh, I agree with you. You see Coach Zhang from Korea talking to her assistants, and I guess that's, <laughs> they must be talking about that, Jeff. You know, what do we do? Do we keep her in? There's 345 left. Like you said, she has, you have seen her play with foul trouble before, but imagine she picks up her fourth in the second quarter. But the I've thing is, as soon as, as soon as you take her out, yeah. They really, they, they're short. I mean, imagine maybe uh, Jin, number seven, 27, would check in. She plays around the four position for them. But she's only 5'11", 1 meter 82. I mean, as soon as. She's got two fouls. Yeah, exactly. As soon as Park goes out, they're very, very small. So she banks one of the two in to cut the deficit to one. Remember, Korea need to win by four points to qualify tonight for the World Cup. Look at Erica get the basketball. Stephanie back in the game, gives it to Isabella. And Mark with the rebound, but her pass goes off her teammate, Park. Now Erica again. Surely they want to go right at her. Here she is battling away. And good defense from Park. The defense by Korea coming up with the basketball. Kang Lee Sol. Oh, what a great rebound by Taina Pesho. Not really sure Kong needed to, to throw up that shot. I think they probably could have got a better shot. And again, they're going right at Park. So, uh, <laughs> Stephanie misses. Thing is, she didn't go at her. She just shot the jump shot and. Park's also tired, she isn't she? She looks so tired, Jeff. Like I said, she's had to play a very physical game here in this first half. Air ball from Park. Oh, I think that ball was no, clearly I think they're going to overrule it. Yeah. They're going to overrule it. They're going to talk about it. Yeah, that's a, that's the right call. Uh, you can see she is gassed. Yeah, she is like, you just got to give me what you got. More worrisome, right? She has three fouls and she's tired. When you're tired, you make mental mistakes. Mm. Three pointer. Oh, great box out by Patty. So you'd have to think Brazil would have been happy with this position at the start of the game. Here they are, Erica. She's going right at Park again, who went for the block. Boy, that was dangerous. Quick pass, dangerous pass, but Park gets it. Now into the corner, back to Park. Nice give and go, but she brings it back out. Kong Lee, so for three, the go ahead. Haven't scored in a while, Jeff, other than Park's free throws, so big shot there. Isabella, ooh, high dribble. Oh, gets swatted by Jisoo, by Park Jisoo. I mean, Park Jisoo is not backing down, even though she does have those three fouls. Park again, not this time. Stephanie rebounds at Brazil run. They look for options. Peixo gets it to Erica. Oh, she put it over the rim. Three-pointer, go! From Park. Park Haitian. And back-to-back, -back, or two threes, rather late threes here, have given Korea a five-point advantage. 
Well, the coach has been bold by leading Park GC win, and it's paid off because of this. Look. And it has paid off, and she has knocked back down. She had a tough uh, defensive position against Erica De Souza too, which uh, she definitely affected Erica's shot. And there you saw her with the block against Isabella. So what a quick turnaround. I mean, three possessions ago, Brazil were up one, and now they're down five with a minute 12 left. Seja quem for, tá vendo ela aqui, temos que sair, fazer bater a bola, seja quem for, seja quem for, tá bem? Ei, se for zona agora, tá bem? Se for zona agora, fazemos isso aqui, ó. Traz a bola pra lateral, vem, Stephanie, faz esse bloqueio, tá bem? Pra usar aqui, vamos deixar Pati e... Pati e Ramona, tá bem? Vem pra cá, pode passar uma, Pati e Ramona. Erika, você vem pro lado da bola. Tá? Bora, bora. So, we saw the statistics. Korea shooting 4-15, but two of those makes from three-point range. Two of those makes came in the last two possessions here. Brazil, only three of 12. Brazil with the aggressive defense that has caused some turnovers, rush shots by Korea. But at the same time, they have also put Korea on the free throw line, and they're taking advantage. Korea shooting seven and eight so far in this first half. Quick pass to Stephanie. Wow, that was silky smooth. Come to, uh, they found the opening, didn't they? They've looked good coming out of timeouts, getting some good shots. Oh! Certainly looked awkward, that dribble. Oh, Park traveled. Too happy with that call. Watch this. She hands it off. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. She traveled twice. <laughs> what was she complaining about? <laughs> so Korea in that zone that they have been in the second half of this second quarter. I think a lot of that was to try and pr protect Park Jisoo, who's in the game. Three fouls, trying to defend De Souza on that low box. Patty passes up the long one and hits. Oh. The mid-range jump shot. Sixteen seconds left. Remember, Korea Park Jisoo has the three fouls. She certainly won't want to pick it up in the final seconds here. There's Park right at the elbow. Oh, nice. They got to hurry, Brazil. They don't have much time. And Taina launches. Oh, she almost made it. We saw promised Amukamara make one yesterday from half, just beyond half court, or just as she crossed half court for Nigeria, and that one almost went in as well. But got a great game here in Belgrade at the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup Qualifying Tournament. Korea lead it 33 to 30 over Brazil. shooting look at that Brazil only five of ten Korea seven of eight both teams missing a lot of easy baskets in my opinion but I think it has to be for me it's the rebounds by Korea look at that they have a lot they have nine offensive rebounds they are out rebounding Brazil by 12 already in this game Kang eight points Park seven with those two three-pointers that came uh sorry one three-pointer that came late and then her little pull-up Really, I think Brazil has, has definitely their game plan is to get the ball inside. No matter who it is, go ahead, try and attack. Here you see De Souza playing a lot better and with a lot more energy than we saw her play on Thursday night against Australia. I think we've definitely seen a Brazilian team play their best yeah. half of basketball, which I suppose you would expect. Get more minutes and practice time, and it's just the you know that's just the reality. And like we said, Jeff, I mean both these teams, and I think you can tell, understand and know what's on the line in this game. So, Korea, remember if they win by four points or more, they clinch a spot 
in the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup. Yep, you said it, Jeff. I mean, you know, I think both these teams are playing with a lot of energy. Korea with that disappointing opening day loss to Serbia, where I really felt like they had a great chance to come up with a win. They ended up losing by two points. Australia beat Brazil on the opening night by 13 points. But Brazil never really went away in that game. They did end up losing late. I think they were affected a little bit by the Australians' defense. But there you see the hustle play by Isabella, and that's kind of the difference here today, I feel. I feel like Brazil are more prepared for this game. They know what's on the line. They have a veteran, a great veteran in Erica de Souza who knows exactly what it takes to qualify for a major tournament and be in games that you must win. So that's halftime. We'll be back shortly. Korea with a three-point lead over Brazil, 33 to 30. Who will you become when the moment arrives and you're carrying the expectations of an entire nation, representing your people and their dreams, the colorful faces in the streets, the screaming fans in the stands? It's time to make your move. All eyes on you, all hope, all heart. Because when you win, you win for all. on the penetration goes upstairs Ooh. with a pretty play for two. And Tokashki gets Japan rolling. Shot clock winding down. Oh, Johannes likes this. Uh, oh, you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> Johannes outdoes herself yet again. Okay, she's got to hurry, Mukamara. She does get it off in time. Oh, she oh, oh, did it! <laughs> Promise of Mukamara! A three-pointer just as she crossed half court. We have seen some basketball magic right here.
Well, 33 to 30 Korea on top of Brazil, and they have been led by Kong Lee Seoul tonight. One of the veterans in the starting five, and uh, even if she wasn't really on target the other night against Ser Serbia, uh, you know that she's going to come back strong, and she has tonight with those eight points. Also, Park Hae-jun has seven, uh, but it's been Kong in this first half that has done most of the damage and certainly one of their primary weapons from behind the arc. Well, for Brazil tonight, it's been uh, the young Camilla who, all, you know, you're, she's always bringing it defensively and tonight she's been bringing it on this end of the floor. And, uh, She's looked much better. Look at that. Getting the shot swat as well. She's been far more influential tonight against this Korean team. And the more time that she has with Brazil, the more time, the older that she gets, and she gets all those valuable minutes playing in South Carolina for Dawn Staley, you know she's only going to get better and better. And, uh, Talk about her and Stephanie, the future of the Brazilian national team, I think without question. You know, Brazil, the team that used to rule the world, they won it in 94 in Australia, and they want to get back Korea. They know they'll be at the World Cup if they win tonight by four points. So the stakes are high for these two 0 and 1 teams. So, really, either way, everyone knows what the stakes are and what the score needs to be. It'll be interesting. I think Brazil did a really good job on Park, uh, Park Jisoo, the 23-year-old, probably the most famous Korean basketball player that they have. She does have a lot of rebounds, but she has those big three fouls. And I just thought that Brazil defensively had a great defensive plan against her. They frustrated her that first 20 minutes. I mean, nothing came easy, and you could tell how frustrated she was getting. What do you do if you're Park Jisoo and you and you have that great start to your career when you're 15, you're playing at the <laughs> World Cup in 2014? You know, how do you uh, how do you continue to get better? I mean, you know, she's not the first uh, teenager to to shine for their country. We saw Lauren Jackson do it. She's 23 now. She's I mean, only she's, 23 she's young. now, so she's allowed to have, you know, little bumps along her career. And that being said, I mean, her career hasn't even really got started. I think she's someone we're going to see around for a very long time. I'm sure her coaches and her teammates have talked to her. Continue to attack, continue to try to be aggressive, but don't force the issue. You know, don't, don't force tough shots, kick the ball out, let's continue to move. My biggest thing is we know that she has three fouls. So Jeff, if you and I know, every single Brazilian player, Brazilian coach know that as well. So well, that has to be something that they emphasize. You know, uh, in a way I have to applaud Korea for kind of thinking outside the box or maybe not having the same, they, they don't view that in the same way that we do. I mean, that, you know, at that moment in the game, the, the coach is making a judgment and saying, I need Park Jisoo on the floor. It's important that we go to halftime with the lead. I think she can not pick up that that uh, that fourth foul. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I, th I seem to remember at least once where maybe the <laughs> yeah, she was very close going for a block where she could have got the foul. You also saw how fatigued she was, in my opinion, those last two, three minutes. I mean, she was 
Her team were running fast break and she was hardly getting over over the half court line. She did play 18 minutes in that first half. She does only have five points. She's shooting one of nine from the field, but she has 11 rebounds. So clearly she's still a big impact for this Korean team. And like you said, it's a judgment call. Coach decided to keep her in. And I mean, I guess it works because they were down one with about three minutes, no, even less, two minutes left in the second quarter. Yeah, and now they went threes. into halftime yeah. to hit those two threes. They were up five, went into halftime with a three-point lead. So it paid off. That's why we're not the coach and you and I are here. <laughs> well, yeah, that's right. And, and also as, as it relates to Brazil, uh, comparing their performance tonight to opening day, I mean, it, it's so dramatically different. And while Australia did play really good defense, Talbot, uh, Beck, Beck Allen, Allen, and who was the other one that was really good? I mean, I thought Tolo was great too. Tolo, yeah. Post, you know, Somebody else is jumping in the passing lanes. Whitcomb, their guards were picking up. So it was a great effort, but Brazil just weren't very good. But they looked tonight yeah. a different team. You know, they, they, you know, Camilla is a different player tonight. Um, yeah. And also, uh, Isabella is a different player tonight. Maybe a couple times she's tried some difficult shots and had had a few shots blocked, but they look a much more confident, feisty group. So I think Jose Neto has done a good job in kind of uh, rallying his team and getting getting them to put that disappointment behind them to come back stronger today. They probably benefited, uh, you would think, right? Because they had the day off. Oh, absolutely. I think, uh, you know, a, a day off, a day to prepare, a day to get over jet lag as well. Let's not forget, most of these Brazilian players flew in from Brazil. Mm. So, you know, there's jet lag involved with that. I'm not saying Korea doesn't have jet lag as, we as well, but, you know, it's, it's tough coming into this kind of a situation. I do think Brazil only have five turnovers. They ended up with 24 turnovers against Australia. So I think they've done a really good job I know they're down right now, but they've taken care of the ball and they've at least got good looks and shot attempts. Not shooting the ball incredibly well. I think they have to go inside early here, set the tone again like they did in that first quarter. These women's World Cup qualifiers are so good. I mean, these, you know what? You have to travel, you have to go and play, but these are important games for these national teams, getting together and playing and, and obviously the stakes are high, uh, especially for these two teams. A lot of a lot of people saying this was the battle that was going to determine who goes to the World Cup from this group. So we'll see if that's how it plays out. Second half action underway here in Belgrade. Korea leading and getting the hands up on defense at the beginning. Peixos pass batted. So Kang now, who leads the team in scoring, has the basketball. Here's Park Jisoo shooting it with the hand in the face and scoring over Erica. See if that gets her on track. And you like to see that, Jeff. Like you said, maybe that'll get her a little bit more confidence. Korea in a zone. Looks like a 2-3. Yeah, they played that zone most of the second quarter there. They get it to Erica. Good footwork. And her shot was way too hard. So five point lead for the Koreans. See if they can put some more distance between themselves and the Brazilians. Park missed on the drive. Erica. Oh, goes up and this time successful. But again, Jeff. Park Jisoo, she can't play as aggressively on defense. Well, that's I guess that's why they're going inside. <laughs> Every time down the floor. But this is the benefit of leaving her in. She gives you this. A nice drive. And suddenly, Park Ji Su has arrived at the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup qualifiers. Uh, last four points for Korea here. I mean, I understand you want to you want to post up Erica, but you could also post up 
Stephanie, number 24. Pesho saves it. And they get to Isabella. Oh, boy, that was a break. And But they don't capitalize. Looked like the ball was uh, Brazil were in desperation mode. Park again. Ooh, almost a hop there, and then she falls over. So good job there, Stephanie, using her height. Deborah, will the help come? Erica, and this time she was blocked. Stephanie there for the attempt. Now, Korea running. And Park again. Bay takes the bump and gets a couple, or excuse me, uh, Kong takes the bump and gets a couple of free throws. Not the bump, the reach. So a difficult period of time right now for Brazil. You can see that Korea being very assertive. Throws good for Kong, who continues to have a big game for Korea. Yeah, ten points already for her. Debra run off the line over to Tina Pesho, and good defense by Korea. And the pass up to Kim Danby. And here goes Korea now opening up a nine-point advantage. And uh, look at the pass up ahead again. And Kim Danby finishing. This time, uh, Park Jisoo does get the block. Yeah, good job by the captain, Kim Danby. She's had a slow night so far, only four points. Oh, good job. Oh, oh but Erica, this is another easy basket. You know, Kim Danby is someone who I could see really starting to get hot in the second half as well. She had 16 points for them in the first game. Well, all credit to Erica staying with it, getting the offensive rebound and put back. But you know, if I'm obviously Brazil, they want to slow the ball down, they want to get it inside, go to Erica. If I'm Korea, I'm going ahead and I'm going to try and run and make Erica de Souza's tired. Oh, Park. And now we're seeing why she's a world class talent. That is not a good matchup for most opposing pivots because she can pull them away from the basket. Here's Erica again one last time to try to get that foul called and still does not. And Isabella almost taking the ball away from Park. Kim Danby over to Park Jisoo. Another one! Boy, she has caught fire in the third quarter. Yes, she has, Jeff. What a great start for Park Jisoo. And you can see the expression on her face, the relief of seeing her shot finally go in. Well, I'm kind of relieved as well. I mean, I want to see her do well. Not, you don't want to see a big talent like that just uh, fail to get off the mark. Yeah. Five points in the first half. Five points in the first half. Se a gente se a gente for esperar até que chegue a grande para querer jogar só aqui, complicado. Nós temos que correr para tentar o desequilíbrio. Depois a gente consegue colocar a bola dentro. Primeira opção, vamos correr, tá bem? Fazemos um bloqueio aqui, tá bem? Fazemos um bloqueio. Então traz a bola, pode passar, recebe, passa, recebe, vem a quatro. Stephanie, você vem para jogar. Depois que pegar a bola aqui, passa para esse lado. Vamos ver se a gente consegue fazer esse desequilíbrio. Okay, Nanny's going to check into the game. Korea actually has more offensive rebounds than Brazil. But Brazil, this uh, this third quarter, have really, it's been an emphasis, right? Get the ball inside, go offensive rebound. And they have been able to do that. I think they are. You saw Erica check out and Camila coming in. 
I think they are now focusing maybe a little bit too much on yeah. only trying to get the ball inside. Yeah, yeah, Still I was just thinking the same thing. Yeah. It actually ended up hurting them. Here's Nanny. And to Camilla. Pecho, Taina Pecho. Nope, it was short. And Nanny didn't pick up the basketball. Park runs the baseline, gives it to Park Ji out to Kong Lee Su. Here's Nanny. And that's what they need from her. That's what we've been talking about. And that's another thing you can do. You know Park Ji Su can't go and block, can't go be aggressive. So I understand getting inside, but go ahead and attack her from the outside as well on a layup type situation like that. What a great, what a great challenge for Camilla. What a bounce pass from Park Ji Su, but good recovery there for Stephanie to get over in the way of Kong. Nice job, nice off-ball defense there by Stephanie. There's Stephanie wide open. That was short online, but here is Nanny. And again, oh, she defers and gets it off and makes the right play. Gets it to Camilla. Good play. Good job, nice hustle play here to come up with the offensive rebound. Nanny might have given up an, an easy layup for herself, but hey, you get it to Camilla. Two points is two points. Doesn't matter who scores it, right, Jeff? Yeah, I mean, she brings a different uh, so element to the team. Let's listen to Korea. I like it. Did you see that the silent treatment there a little bit by Coach Jung? Shooting, again, neither team shooting the ball exceptionally well, but it is even, and that's why this game is so close. We saw, we saw a run early in this third quarter by Korea. They did a great job, especially Park Jisoo. Coach uh, Neto calls a timeout. What happens? Brazil goes on a little bit of a run, and now Korea has to call a timeout. So let's see what happens and who's going to respond for the next four minutes in this quarter. And look at that. Park Jisoo already with a double-double, and that's what I talked about. She, you could pull up a double-double at the Olympics. You can also do it at an Olympic uh, World Cup qualifiers, and that's what we've seen here tonight. She struggled offensively, but she still came up with the rebounds in the first half, and now she seems to be finding her touch here in the second. Oh, good block, and Brazil come up with it. Good job coming off the bench by Rafaela. Now she gets it to Camilla. And Alana back outside to Rafaela. Ooh, nice footwork from Rafa. Good job, nice step through. Good patience there by Brazil on offense. They had a great defensive possession. Can they keep up that energy on this next possession here? Three-point shot from Kim Danby off in front of the iron. Camilla gets rid of it quickly. Brazil running again, tying to Peixo. But Korea get back. Now they feed Camilla, who's excellent passing, gets it over to Nani. And the young Brazilians are getting it done. Great job, it starts on defense. I love how much more aggressive they've been coming out of that timeout. Boy, how good has Camilla been with her passing? Here's Park Ji Soo and Rafa bringing the defense off the bench. Camilla just looks like a, she's figured some things out between the first game and this game. She looks a totally different player. And also Nanny has brought the D. Look at that great move as well by Rafa coming out. Look at the passing. She knows the D is going to collapse and she's finding the open teammate. She knows she's going to be there. We have thought they uh, thought they were all in command and it's not so much. Here's Camilla again, another one. 
good job, but Mark G. Sue's got to be careful. Almost a rebounding foul. Remember, Nanny can beat you on the dribble. She gives it up to Lana. She gets the pick. She puts it up. And Camilla follows. And here she is going up again. What, what a battle. They get it back. And Pecho doesn't risk it. And here's Nanny. I thought she was going to shoot it. Boy, Brazil are really content to keep passing it around. And the bump, and excellent work from Brazil to maintain possession and make that defense work. Yeah, but how about this energy by this Brazilian team in the last minute and a half that we've seen? They're everywhere defensively, they're everywhere offensively, they're moving the ball, they're more aggressive, they're attacking, offensive rebounds. Oh boy, their free throws, they've struggled at the line tonight. There's Clarissa Dos Santos. You know she wants to be out there. Also, they're missing Dantas. And Anna Pesho playing the D, so back to a one-point game. Defense has really picked up for Brazil. Bay. Over to Kim Danby, mid-range. And the ball, here comes Nanny, the outlet pass to Taina Pecho. She needs to get rid of it, and she is fouled by Park. Not a bad foul here, Park was aware, time and score. She knows her team has fouls to give. So again, Brazil only trailing by one, Jeff, where we thought it looked like Korea were going to start oh. to pull away, but no, they turn it over. They give away a break, but Korea decided not to rush it. So they've gotten away from Park. They need to get her back in, in the flow. They've gotten away or the defense, and it's travel wow. by Park. Wow. Oh, the frustration comes back for Park Jisoo. So the good news for Park is she still only has the three fouls. Look at those Brazilian players over there. The belief, the hope. Okay, watch. Ooh, did you see the travel? I didn't. I'm not sure. And the Pecho blocked from behind. Great job, Kim Danby. Cock. Park for three. Nope. And Camilla is just, you know there's only one player coming down with that rebound when she's in there. She has been terrific really on the boards. Has. I mean, obviously she's a talented, skilled young player. Nani! From way downtown. Look at that, another one just right on cue. Camilla and Brazil have taken the lead again. They were down nine points. Bay. Over to Kong. And Park Chi Soon. And Camilla, I think, is, is it Camilla or Nanny? I think Nanny wants the call to go against her to save Camilla because she knows how important Camilla has been for her team. But yeah, that foul's going to go against uh, Camilla, I believe. Look at that block, the block, excuse me, by Park. Now Korea, Korea really for me, I mean, they've had open looks, but they're only settling for outside shots. Shot clock. Kim Dampy. Another rebound. Nope, oh, she's not going to get that rebound because of the shot clock violation. But looking at her rebounds, Camilla has eight to go with her 11 points. She has been an absolute beast tonight for Brazil. And that's it at the end of three. Brazil leading at 46. 45 over Korea.
Well, Jeff, again, I mean, I'm not super impressed with the shooting. Neither team shooting well. Look at Korea settling for those three-point shots. They're only four of 22. You got to get the ball inside. Who was the hot hand for them early in that third quarter? It was Park. I agree. I think defensively, Brazil stepped up and made things more difficult for her. But at the same time, you still need to figure out a way to get her her shots. She was great for them early in that quarter. And then they completely went away from her. But Park Jisoo, you know, we talk about Brazil's Camilla doing a good job as we look at these highlights and the fast break. But Park Jisoo now has 13 points and 13 rebounds. Erica contributed, but again, they just kind of seemed like they put too much focus on trying to get that foul, that fourth foul on Park G2. Right at that point, it was kind of like, okay, I've cracked it. I'm back to myself. She is 5 of 13 from the floor. But the introduction of Nanny helped. Here she is on the drive and handing it off to Camilla. And Rafa like, also scored on this drive. Like you said, Jeff, it was, you know, we're watching these highlights, and you're watching the highlights of the young bench players that came in for Brazil in that third quarter who really, it, they picked up the intensity on defense. Hey, folks, scan the QR code in to get all the live stats and more. Takes you to the FIBA website, and you can, the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup qualifiers website for all the stats, news, features. You name it, it's there. And the eight rebounds for Camilla to go with her 11 points. So she's closing in on the double double. She also has the two blocks. Park Ji Sue has the double double. She also has six turnovers. And traveling. So, not what Korea wanted to do coming out of the break to start this fourth quarter. Yeah, she just shuffled her feet. And we do remind you, Korea will qualify for the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup if they win tonight by four points or more. Lana, to get it open. Nanny from the corner off the back of the cup, and Camilla not able to rebound that one. Now into the corner to Kim Danby. Oh, boy, she's on this. They all seem to kind of shuffle their feet. Deep shot there by Park. And again, now they're four for 19, Jeff. It's, it's not a good percentage. It is not a good percentage, and it's not what's going to win them the game. Lana inside to Camilla, back outside. Rafa for three. Camilla, another rebound, look at her, and then she's fouled, that's number four on Park Jisoo, and her coach just turns around in frustration. It's uh, unfortunate, feet got a little tangled, and surely she has to come out of the game just for a minute, just to even catch her breath. Yeah, it was an unfortunate call to go against you. But she will play with four fouls. Well, in no way, shape, or form do you take Camilla out of the game now. She's the dominant player of the game. Rafa for three. Brazil still on top by one. Three-point shot. Doesn't go down. Camilla, another rebound. She's got the double-double. And I know this Korean team are good three-point shooters, but they're not falling right now. They need a nanny. Both teams really settling for outside shots where I don't think that's going to. Oh, the foul on the break. Kim Danby takes it all the way. Good job there by the captain realizing, let's not settle. I got to get to the basket. She was fouled in the motion going up to her layup. That's why the AM1 was called. So now Korea back on top by one. And now are we going to see a little run for them? Park Jisoo looking up at the scoreboard and seeing indeed that she does have the four fouls during the break. 
So she has to be careful if she can. Nanny for three is just in her blood. She's not going to say go. She missed her last two three-point shot and says she is not shy. Well, yes. she, she looked at Jose Neto on the last miss and said, okay, okay, I won't do it again. And then the next <laughs> thing you know, she's shooting it. Ooh. Park. Park again. Park to Park Jisoo. She gets the baseline. Park has touched the ball. Kong was out of bounds. And again, I mean, give credit. You know, Brazil was playing in a 2-3 zone in the first half, and then halfway through that third quarter, they switched and went into a 3-2 zone. Look that at has this. completely taken Park Jisoo out of the game. And then there's that No shot. hesitation. No, zero hesitation. Shooter shoot. Well, I was disappointed with how it went for her in the first half, and she's certainly uh, wiped away that disappointment. So now the big test, Camilla has taken a seat to catch a breath, and uh, Erica has come back in. And the reach and the foul on Park. And again, I think Brazil cannot afford to fall into that trap just to try to get Park out of the game. Yeah, I agree with you. That's what we saw happen early in that third quarter. There's Nanny. Baseline. Good. <laughs> Born to score. She's got 10. Job by Nanny. She was their high scorer in the last game coming off the bench, and it's exactly what she's doing again here today for them. She is just natural. Oh, Kim Dampy. Park. And oh, tough shot from Park. But you know what? I like that shot better. I know it was tough, but at least it was closer to the basket instead of just settling for two po uh, three pointers, sorry. Erica called for the offensive foul, and she must have really put her body or arm into Park Jisoo, who is, oh, yeah. Wow. Posting up. I mean, I know she's trying to get position, but that was a little bit aggressive from uh, Erica D'Souza. Wow. I feel bad for Park walking up the court. She might have almost got winded a little bit on that hit. So again, I mean, in these possessions, we don't even see Park touch the ball, Jeff. Oh. Well, how about Park hitting a three? Depends which Park you're talking about. <laughs> so Kim Danby gets it to Park Hajun and she drills it. And once again, Korea in front. Again, it's funny. I mean, there's no hesitation on these three-point shots by either team, even though they're not shooting the ball incredibly well. I mean, we have Korea shooting around 20%, and Brazil is around 22%. But Nanny's shooting 40%. Sai pro lado oposto, tá bem? Sai pro lado da Rafa. Nanny can shoot. Rafa aqui, ó. Sai pro lado da Rafa. Sobe, sai a segunda aqui no fundo. Rafa, você vem pra cá, e Erika, você vem aqui, ó. Tá? Vamos ver se a gente consegue ou colocar a bola aqui, desliza, colocou a bola aqui, high low. Tá certo? Ei, se não der nada, vira a bola, vira a bola e joga um bloqueio, você. Brasil! So, Jeff, my question is, there's six minutes and 30 seconds left. How long do you think we're going to see Camila Silva yeah. on the bench? Yeah, yeah, I mean, she's got to come back ASAP <laughs> or A-S-A-R as soon as, no, A-S-A, as soon as she's ready. Okay. <laughs> Taking nothing away from Erica, but Camilla is the best player in this game, or the most influential. Here is Lana for three, and the confidence spreads. And just like last night with Nigeria and France, both of these teams starting to make big-time plays in the fourth quarter. Now Park. 
Oh, what a pass. Nice job, good job. You got the center defender, Erica DeSouza, out on Park, and you need to cut. I don't know That's how she got so open so out. so much down low. Rafa leans in. Erica with the rebound and fouled from behind by Park. Third team foul on Korea. So again, Jeff, I think, you know, in a tight game like hey, this, there. fouls are going to become important. Hey, there's our friend, Sonia. Ace, ace, ace photographer. Sonia, one of the best. And the handoff. There she is again, Nanny. Good! Green light! Give it to her! Now who's going to shoot it? Kong has the answer! The kang -do. Spirit, 57 apiece. Alana, and that's two in a row for her. Kim Danby, Park over to Park Jisoo. Fades back, and Erica rebounds. But Jeff, that's her first shot attempt since probably around the six minute mark of the third quarter. Korea gonna have to dig deep here. They're down three. They need to win by four to qualify tonight. And Alana, well, that was a good shot. She just couldn't pass up. Park, meanwhile, always looking for those options out on the perimeter. Kim Damby again. She's so tough driving, isn't she? Great job by Kim Damby. You know, she's kind of had a quiet night here today. She was their best scorer on opening night. She is their captain. She is their veteran. Can she step up? Thirteen points for that player right there, number four for Brazil, Nanny. That is leading the team again. And the ball turned over. Good hands by Korea. Kong over to Park. Park over the shoulder pass to Park Jisoo, and she's fouled! What a play! What a play. What a big time move by the 23 year old veteran, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh boy, she really got hit too. That's, she and just, not much Rafaela could do. I understand the foul, but go ahead and try and foul hard enough so. You either foul she can't really score, hard or yeah. you just don't, or you just or let you her let have it. Go, yeah. Well, she really does throw it up off that backboard hard. Yeah, she's a good free throw shooter. I mean, here today. So Camilla comes in, Rafa goes out, and two bigs for Brazil to see if that helps them. If they can get back on defense, Korea will probably try to beat them down the floor. Now to Erica. Over you don't to want to force it. I think you have less firepower on the perimeter, though, like this. Camilla, she, they got to put it up, and... Erica could not rebound it as Kim Danby came Danby, from behind. Right? Yep. Danby knew she wasn't going to come up with it. Watch out, Kong open. Whoa, and it goes in. Great play. You got to salute Korea. They were in real adversity. Now they've gone back in front by five. Lana. Oh. Buries it. How big has she been in this fourth quarter? Eight points for them in this fourth quarter alone for Alana Gonzalo. Gonzalo. Yeah, she's she's hit a couple of threes. And Danby once more another drive. In the basket, such a great job. Nice patience here by Korea. Jeff. 
This game is getting intense. We know Korea need to win by four. Ooh. Ooh, that was close to a foul. And great job by Diana Pecho leaning in and uh, getting the contact from Kim Damby. So Damby, that's going to be her second foul. Got to give the credit to Park Ji Su for staying on the court for so long. So long. She had three fouls halfway through the second quarter, right? A little bit, a little bit yeah. less. But three fouls. And she stayed in. She hasn't been out, Jeff. No, she hasn't. <laughs> now, Erica goes out. They bring in some more quickness with Isabella, and I think. But Camilla. I, That's I, all right. I don't mind that. Yeah, but I mean, I think I think it's a better option for Brazil to have more quickness on the floor. And, and Korea's players are short, you know, other than other than uh, Park Ji Su, but you have Camilla who's going to be uh, guarding guarding her. So why not go go smaller? Lena Pecho makes both. Brazil have missed some free throws today, but they've made both of those. And Tina Pecho with the little bump. And Brazil 8 of 14 at the line, Korea 10 of 12 at the line. Brazil now back into man to man the last couple possessions where it's really that 3 2 zone part. Oh, she's big time. Good job hustling down the floor, Camilla, but they couldn't get her the ball. Now they are, oh, risky defense again from Park. Alana, Pesho, they got to find Nanny. She's open, but she goes in, takes a tough shot, and she makes it. Oh, Pesho, being patient. Can Brazil get a stop? Three maybe point game. Maybe even force a turnover and get an easy basket. We haven't seen much of that. Good you don't defense. want to foul late in the shot clock now. Park launches and the ball bounces to the corner. Chase down. Oh no, but Park G Su can't pick it up. Tanya Pecho goes right in for the layup. And it's a one-point game. What a game. What a game. And what a take. Look at this. She almost got, I think she got fouled too, no? Yeah, they, they could have called the foul before the shot. I guess it would have been on the floor, yeah. But it would have put. Would have put them at the line, yeah. Yeah, in bonus. Whew. You got a weak heart. You don't. You don't want to be going to these games, I'll tell you. <laughs> Every single game, a close game. That's what we like. Look at that, Jeff. Wow, that's that's that's, that's incredible. How often do you see that? I, I mean, that's absolutely incredible. No wonder why she. By the end of this game, she is only going to be only going to have had two minutes rest. And she has been playing with foul trouble this entire time. How great is that? Triple double. I mean, you normally see it with assists if you're going to see it. And it's very unlikely to see it at this level, a triple double. But Park Ji Su, 23 years old, already has a triple double, folks. Points, rebounds, and block shots. Incredible. And she also has, well, she's, she's, she hasn't had any turnovers in the second half. She's got six turnovers. She had the one, the one travel early in the third quarter. All right, well, they haven't reported, I don't think. But anyway, what will Korea do? Shot clock winding down. Kim Danby over to Park Ji Su. She gets it off just in time. The little pump fake. So again, remember, it has to be a four-point win. Pecho takes it all the way. Oh. Taina Pecho. How 
many people have stepped up for this Brazilian team in this quarter alone. Remember, they need to win by four to qualify for the World Cup tonight. They're up by one. The reach. Nanny almost forcing the turnover. Park has it. Are they going to launch the three? They are. It's going to be Kong. God! They go up by four. Unbelievable. And four is that special number, Jeff. And you see the excitement. But guess what? There's 18.6 seconds left in this game. Brazil knows that four-point deficit is important as well. And so far for Brazil, so many players have stepped up in this second half. You have Peixo, you have Camilla. What about Nani, Alana? Who do you go to? Well, let's let's give some credit to Cog first of all. Five of ten from three-point range. She now has 19 points. She has been on fire tonight. Bate, bate, vem aqui na Alana, vem na Alana. She was one of seven from deep last night, Kong. So she has come back with a vengeance. Erika. Erika, estamos saindo aqui a Anani. Tá bem? Pati. E aqui, Ramona. Tá certo? Tainá vai bater aqui. Passa na. Passa com a Erika. Abre, abre. Tá bom? Nani, você abre desse lado aqui. Tainá, joga em cima da mão. Tenta penetrar. Nós temos esse. esse isso aqui. Com a Erika rola a bola. My Portuguese isn't very good. I do know that he subbed in Pati and Erika. You heard the name Nani a lot in that timeout. Right now, can Korea dig down and get a defensive stop? If you're Brazil, do you go for a shot somewhat kind of early in case you miss to give yourself an opportunity to rebound, foul, oh, whatnot? Yeah. So you have Erica, the veteran, who has been in uh, probably countless games. She hands it off. Tana Pecho back outside. They don't have time. They got to hurry. They got to go. Isabella back to Tana Pecho. Oh, that's off. And, it, and Isabella gets the rebound and put back. 5.8 points now. Korea need another basket. They, they, they don't know. The plot yeah. thickens. Oh, why? And they foul. So they might have just helped them punch their ticket. Why, why did they foul? But I don't think Korea knows that they need to score. Up. Oh, yeah, I think they do. You do think? I think Korea know. But they are only up two. Why weren't they a little bit more aggressive? Or why didn't they call a timeout? Korea still have a timeout. I'm not sure I'm not sure they know, and I'm not sure Brazil knows. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll have to ask them after the game. It was just the way they celebrated by going up by four. It seemed like they knew. So now the lead is three. It's incredible, isn't it? They need to win by four. Well, now I'm second guessing us. Do they need to win by four? Yeah, they do, you know yeah. I mean? If they win by four, they qualify. Right, okay. And they're up by four. Five now. seconds left, no timeout. No timeout, you don't want to foul. And Pecho, she's hit some big shots, she pulls up from Dave, she's fouled! Incredible! How could Korea have even come close? Kong almost made a monumental mistake. I mean, Kong has been so good for them tonight, Jeff, but that... That is going to potentially prevent them from, from clinching a spot tonight. Let's look at this. I mean, she brushed against her. A lot of contact, Jeff. She brushed against her. Is it a foul before, if you Well, well, I don't know if, if the referee sees you that close and you're brushing against her. You have uh, probably you're thinking that that she has uh, potentially committed the and, foul. And they called it. What was it three pointer? Her feet were behind the line. Yeah. Okay. There's there Clarissa Dos Santos. She looks a little a little nervous. You think she knows they need to win by four? Now it looks like Korea will not. If you're Brazil, do you intentionally miss this and try to get the tap? I think they're going to. Especially with Camilla in there. And they got to make sure they box everybody out. Yeah. 
It doesn't necessarily have to be a tap, but here it uh, did. Oh, oh, that was a great try, a great attempt. But yeah, I don't think I don't think Korea know that had they led by four, that they would have clinched the way they're celebrating. I mean, you know what? They won. Jeff. Yeah. They so that's so even so. That's the big point, four point. They got a win. Okay. So they have. I don't think they knew, but I do think that they know winning was also just as important. And yeah. they're giving themselves another chance. Yes, True. they will play again tomorrow. 76-74, Korea win it over Brazil. I mean, at the end of the day, more than anything, they needed the win. Exactly. That already puts them in front of Brazil. And it means Brazil will now have to beat Serbia to, to even have a chance. Right. Although, that, you know, that could be a good chance if they beat Serbia, considering. So, I mean, Jeff, look at that, 8 of 30. Only 27%. They were a lot worse. Both teams, 8 of 28 from the three-point range. Brazil, much better job rebounding in the second half. They gave themselves more offensive uh, rebound opportunities. Turnovers. I thought, in general, both teams did a good job taking care of the ball. I think Brazil will be pulling hard tonight for Australia because if they beat Serbia, then you've really got the potential. They right. could then turn around and beat Serbia, and uh, you could end up with potentially three one and two teams, and then it comes down to goal differential. And when you talk about that, the fact that Brazil have only lost this game by, by two points, by two points. Yeah, that, that's, right. they're, in, they're in good shape in that sense. Korea, meanwhile, only lost to Serbia by, was it two, two or three? Two points. So, it's potentially very, very close, depending on what happens in that next game tonight, which, as you all know, is going to be rather dramatic between Australia and Serbia. I don't think uh, we need to get into that. But look at the highlights of this game. And let's just say this is uh, maybe the, it was the brilliance, ultimately, of Park Jisoo and Han Lee Sol, and, and also the drives by Kim Danby, I think, that really made the difference. And but Brazil, I'm not sure they can play much better than they played tonight at this stage. I agree with There's you. There's so much to like about what they did tonight. And it was their younger bench players that came in and really changed the momentum, in my opinion, for, for this Brazilian team. I mean, I know De Souza, you know, she finishes with 10.7 rebounds. But let's talk about Silva. Ah, let's talk Camilla. about... Yeah. Sorry, yeah, Camila, you know. I thought, okay, I know Deborah started, but... You know, she Alana. was kind of quiet, quiet. Nani, 13 points, all of those coming in the second half, I believe. Yeah, Nat, she's going to be big time career with Brazil. Coming yeah. with Atlanta in that fourth quarter alone. So really, it was it was the, the, the energy that the bench players brought in. But I do definitely think, I mean, you could talk about Danby doing a great job attacking the basket late in that fourth quarter. But how good was Park Jisoo, 20 points. 13 rebounds, 11 blocks, and Jeff, she got those 11 blocks in foul trouble. She had three fouls midway through the second quarter. She picked up her fourth early in the fourth quarter, and she still ended up with 11 blocks. So it means she did not back down. She competed all night. I think the question has to be asked, certainly after the press conference, were you and your players aware that if you won by four points that you were yeah. going to qualify, especially the way you fouled Tina Pecho right at the end to put her on the line. Uh, I think it's a valid question. And uh, well, Korea and Australia up at the top one and two. Australia, of course, if they win tonight against Serbia, they'll be unbeaten and in, or that we know they're in rather. You got Serbia who are one and oh, if they win tonight, they will be in the World Cup, right? Because they will be two wins. Yes, they will have clinched a so that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Another thriller, and this time, Korea behind Park Ji Soo and her wonderful teammates edged a brilliant, hard fighting Brazil 76 74.